hello and welcome to the second part of the screen recorder series so in this video we will see how you will send a prescription to your patient after you write that in prescriptor app so this is the prescription i have written okay so to send that first go to the send section like this so so in the top of the send section you can see there is a preview section okay the preview section is to preview your prescription before you send it to your patient this is slightly different uh, from what the patient will actually see but this is almost similar okay uh, certain things are not there like your uh, registration number or your digital signature which is not there but will be there in the original prescription provided you had those things in the appropriate sections of course so there are two ways to send the prescription to the patient the first way is to send it as a payment link and the patient must pay to view the prescription and the second way which which you can see at the bottom of this page is that you can send the prescription through whatsapp for free and in this case the prescription will not be saved like this okay i'm not sending it here but it will just uh, send it through the whatsapp uh, now now when you send the prescription uh, to whatsapp for free the prescription will not be saved the only way you can save prescription in uh, prescript app is to generate a payment link so so even if you do not want to charge your patient uh, for your prescription you will have to create a dummy prescription link that will save the prescription and then you can set the prescription fee as zero if you want to send it for free okay so let's see how does this work so you click on this tab send as payment link and uh, there you can choose your consultation fee uh, let us choose 500 so your patient will have to pay 550 that is 10 percent convenience charge that we charge uh, extra for, from the patients that is our business model you can you should give a patient a patient identification number that is to track the patient in future uh, let us uh, set something like uh, test in this case then you can give any secret information that will be there with the prescription but the patient will not be able to see this let's say you want to say this was a difficult patient so let's enter that now you can see there is a uh, prompt for feedback checkbox so if you check this prompt for feedback checkbox then uh, when the patient will view your prescription uh, he or she will be prompted to leave a feedback in your google business page okay and provided that you set that google business page in your boost google business section under the account tab now finally we can generate the prescription link like this all right so this is the link basically you can copy it or you can send it to whatsapp so let's send it to whatsapp in this case we will use our whatsapp business account to send it to my personal whatsapp account so i'm choosing this and i'm choosing my whatsapp personal account to send it let's see what uh the patient is supposed to see so the patient will see this page and not the prescription directly so they will have to pay now they will have to click on this button to pay and when the payment is successful then only they will be able to see the prescription it's as simple as that they will be automatically redirected to the prescription so we are not going to pay here but if we would we could see the prescription right here right now okay let's go back so when will you get the payment when the patient pays it will be saved in your account and will send all dues to registered google pay or uh, alternatively to your paytm number that we have given during registration uh, usually every tuesday or when it reaches 5000 uh, rupees whichever is earlier all right you can of course update your google pay number or paytm number from your profile and you can track your earning both from this account 
so let's uh, see a few tabs in the account section as well here is the account section here you can edit your profile this is your profile section you can see your earning here this is your earning and this is a specific section to solve the payment dispute i also want to uh, talk about it here so sometime it happens that the patient will claim that uh, they have paid successfully but the money is not uh, reflected in your account okay it is it is not in in your earning section also the prescription status is not showing as paid as well as the patient is saying or rather complaining that they are unable to view the prescription so it means that the system is not recognizing this prescription as a paid prescription but the patient is claiming that he or she has paid for this prescription this controversy sometime happens though very rare but sometime e if it happens then uh, in this section you can re resolve that okay this is a self-service tool that show uh, that sends a request to our uh, payment gateway to know the actual status of the payment so here you can choose the type of the payment prescription or slot booking so here we are talking about the prescription here you have to enter the full link of the prescription that you have uh, sent to your patients this is the actual link to your prescription here you have to uh, uh, you know paste the link and click on this button and then it will tell you what is the actual status of this payment all, all right still if there is any problem you can definitely contact the support uh, so that's about it that's a, a, about this section so in the next section we'll talk about the booking tab and how, how to manage the different uh, slot booking options and set them up etc thank you very much thank you very much thank you for watching this video thank you